p.m. Monday on Cabo Bayan Today or SMM. Now introducing you to our SMM social media madam joining us on Cabo Bayan Today via Skype, Crystal Menes. Hello and welcome to Cabo Bayan Today. Hi, Janelle. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, and social media madam, SMM, on Social Media Monday, SMM, on Cabo Bayan today. Crystal, you're here to give us an update on Vine. Not too long ago, we talked about that. For those who missed that, and for those who are living under the rocks, perhaps, what is Vine? Well, Vine was deemed the pretty much the Instagram, but with video. That was prior to Instagram actually adding the video feature to their platform. Okay, and I remember you told me before, because I asked you, you know, among social media, you prefer Twitter and Vine. So you prefer t uh, Vine over Instagram, Instagram video. Why is that, uh, Crystal? Um, there's quite a few reasons why. And, um, you know, a lot of people actually said two months, about two months ago when Instagram first came out with its, with its, video, with its video feature, I'm sorry, um, that it would kill off Vine. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give off reasons why I don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to die. Mm -hmm. um, so about two months ago when Instagram first came out with a video feature, um, a lot of stats came out saying that, you know, Vine was going to go ahead and right. plummet. Mm -hmm. But recent stats are actually showing that that's not actually true. Um, during that first month, a lot of the shared links over the Internet were going mostly to Instagram, and a lot of them were decreasing uh, on, their, on their way to Vine. Okay. However... However, um, you know, like I said, there's a steady incline of users coming back. People were just deleting the app off of their phone. They were deleting Vine off of their phone. They weren't necessarily flocking to Instagram. They were just deleting the app. Okay. So now there's actually an influx of people coming back to Vine. Okay. What is the advantage of Vine over Instagram video? Um, there's, you know, the, the one thing that I like personally about Vine is the simplicity. I've said this before, and I'm going to continue to say it. Same thing with Twitter. It's just the simplicity is just much easier for people to, to use. Why would people use Vine? Um, you know, just to post videos. Why would people opt to post videos rather than photos or thoughts and words? Okay, well, you know, there's there's different platforms for the different usages that you're gonna you're gonna need. So like with with Facebook, you know, if you want to reach out to your, your network and your family, that's a perfect platform. You can, you can add video. It's, it's basically the, you know, the package deal. Facebook is the package deal. Okay. Now, if you want, you know, a short update, then you go to Twitter. If you want a beautiful photo, then you put it on, on Instagram. But with Vine, it's just a six second, six and a half, excuse me, six and a half second clip that allows you to, you know, either improv or, or show your creative skill. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you the four reasons why I don't believe that Vine will, will go away. All right. Go ahead. Fire away. Okay. So um, they've added quite a few new features ever since Instagram came out with video to try to, you know, combat the, the to kind of retaliate against mm -hmm. Instagram taking over the, the video feature. So, um, you know, one of my favorite new added features is the Rebind, just like a retweet on Twitter or a repin on Pinterest or a reblog on Tumblr. A Rebind lets the user take other people's clips and repost it to their own account. Okay. Now, this gives a, the uh, user ability to be able to curate their own vines, so it, it's kind of a collection of their favorite vines. And these revines also expose users to other accounts that they may want to follow. All right. Now, uh, reason number two. Okay, so reason number two, um, Vine is a great marketing tool. Mm -hmm. uh, whether through the revines, like I was just talking about, or through hashtag campaigns, companies are able to get that massive coverage from the, the popular Vine accounts that boast a large follower base. So, for example, uh, there's this filmmaker and musician named Rudy Manchuso, and he's got 1.3 million followers, and that's, that's wow. a big following yeah. on Vine. I mean, in, in any platform alone. Right. And, but, uh, he, uh -huh. Go ahead. So he entered a Vine contest for Virgin Mobile under the hashtag Happy Accidents, and although he didn't win, those 1.3 million followers were not only exposed to his awesome Vine work, mm -hmm. but they also were exposed to a great social media campaign by Virgin Mobile, and I'm sure that's helping a lot of visitors from Rudy Macuso's account over to Virgin Mobile. All right. Very, very quickly, uh, running out of time, uh, number three reason that you put this Vine culture. What is Vine culture? Okay. So just like with all other social media platforms, Vine has its own culture, and uh, it's a culture in which uh, Wired.com has described as, and I I quote, if Instagram is an art gallery, then Vine is a block party. And, I mean, Vine is littered with 
some great singers, DJs, fine artists, filmmakers, and creatives in general. And one of my most favorite accounts belongs to Filipino-American singer and songwriter Jeremy Passion. And if you're on Vine, check out Jeremy's account. You'll see that he's made quite a presence in Vine's culture, his, uh, li- his late-night Vines. Uh-huh. I've been some of the most uh, re-Vine clips, and okay. he's made such a profound impact on Vine, and I'm sure it's helping him bring more attention to his career. Maybe I'll get on Vine just for Jeremy. Also, yeah. follow Crystal. She has a lot of social media accounts, information on the screen for now. Crystal, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Janelle. And thank you for joining us today on Cabo Bayan Today. Catch us online as well, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. This has been Janelle Sawyer, Cabo Bayan in Los Angeles. I'll see you again tomorrow.